Taurus, hello and welcome to Gina Moon. This is your weekly tarot reading starting this new week of July the 24th up until August the 1st. If you would like to watch the link to the extended, I'm now offering 50% off all extended readings. You can find the link to the extended down in the description box below and also in the comments that are pinned down below. Without further ado, let's jump right into your dominant energy and you are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll. You have here the number five and it says here, emotional loss okay so with emotional loss it has to do with some kind of a, an energy where you feel the need to distance yourself from a person place environment group of people thing that you were once emotionally attached to and for a lot of you guys there could still be an emotional attachment but right now you are realizing that something here has to be let go of in order for you to find healing in order for you to find peace uh, in order for your life to improve for others there is that energy here of like i said healing emotional loss you could be feeling like you know either you were attached to a person place thing and now you are kind of like you know having to let it go um in some kind of way you could have been disappointed for a lot of you guys this person place or thing has disappointed you whether it's a love a career a job an idea that you were working on have been working on a family member a friend whatever this is Okay, learning how to let go. You're going to be going through a lot of changes with the number five there. So if you see the number five, 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 oh, five, or just the number five, anywhere that is an indication to go with the flow of these changes. Let it go. Don't resist these changes. Okay, these changes are trying to take you to where you need to be. A lot of times these changes uh, happen in your life that happen abruptly and they're not easy to deal with. They come with a lot of pain, loss, temporary sorrow because it's temporary but if you roll with the punches as they say if you go with the flow you soon will look back and say wow you know that situation made me much stronger right i learned a lot from it and now i'm finally healed so i see that you're on your way towards healing for sure okay so let me know in the comments below what this is all about emotional loss that man there he's he's kind of like holding on to his heart because like i said there was some kind of an emotional attachment there it could have been that you were getting comfortable with an emotional attachment that was only giving you false promises, false hope. And now you're realizing, oh my God, that person wasn't who I thought they were, or this is not going to where I thought it was headed to. And so, you know, th this is actually a good thing because you're breaking out of an illusion. For a lot of you guys, this was an illusion where you thought that things were going to get better. And finally, you're starting to realize, you know what? I have to be honest with myself. And even though you might still feel that sense of attachment to that person place thing job career opportunity whatever this is was okay um there's still that understanding that you're having that by you releasing it by letting it go um that's going to be the best course of action and preliminary message don't give up until you get to where you need to be this is all about you needing to set boundaries for some of you guys you're realizing that you have to set boundaries around people situations circumstances and saying you know what I draw this line and you don't cross this line, even if it might be difficult for you to say that, to do that with people around you, it could be family members, friends, a lover, a loved one, whatever, whoever this is, it could be at work, okay? It might not be easy to draw the line, but this is telling you, you're going to be challenged, you're going to be tested, but stand firm in your conviction. You know what is right for you because sometimes those little doubts start creeping in and they start kind of like making you doubt your decisions like, oh my god maybe i didn't make the right decision but this is telling you don't let those little doubts and you know insecurities creep in you are making the right decision you are making the right choice it's just right now you feel a little bit uncomfortable making those new decisions detaching from that environment person place or thing because you haven't done this and it's been needing to be done and so when you do something very different than what you're accustomed to doing often it's just the discomfort that that you're sensing it's not the fact that 
you know, you're doing something wrong or you're making the wrong decision. It's just that your body, your soul is already feeling rather different because you are becoming a new person. You are becoming a different person, but the old version of you is trying to keep you hold, holding on to that old version of you that is no longer working for you. It could also be your ego, right? A lot of times when we have to battle our own ego, right? Ask yourself, maybe you're battling your own ego. It's, it could be the ego, in you that wants to keep the situation going. It wants to keep it going, even though you know that you're not happy in it. You know that you're not getting what you want out of the situation. The ego forces you to stay there. Why? Because the ego does not want to feel pain. The ego is like, no, you, you're not going to hurt me. You're not going to hurt me. And you're like, okay, well, your soul is saying, but you're hurting me. So do you choose your ego or do you choose your soul? Right? This is a decision that you're going to have to make. Let's see. We're going to be going into now your past, present, and future position. Who and what is coming towards you? What is in your challenge position? How to overcome that challenge? And also, uh, what is in your opportunity? Now, comment down below. It's very important for you to uh, let me know how this reading resonates for you. Even if it's just commenting down an emoji, okay, that will help the channel grow. Because remember, the YouTube algorithm has been hiding my videos and uh, shadow banning my channel. So thank you so much for liking, subscribing, commenting down below. All right, let's see. You could be dealing with the sign of, I see Libra, Sagittarius. It can be um, double Sagittarius is what I see here. Okay. Uh, whatever other sign this is does not have to be necessarily those. But I see here that at the bottom of the deck, yeah, so the five of cups, right. You know, there's a part of you that, yes, you're going through some kind of sadness, some kind of withdrawal energy, withdrawing yourself from that situation, you know, um, emotionally. But you've got to realize that when you are attached to people, to objects, to environments, to situations that you think are making you happy, um, you start subconsciously treating them as the source of your self-esteem. And so what happens when you finally realize that that person, place, or thing isn't giving you what you really want, what your soul really wants? Your ego might be satisfied in it, but your soul's like, no, there's something lacking here. There's something off about this person. There's something off about the situation. What happens is that, that you start feeling sad because you were making that person, place, or thing the source of your self-esteem. Don't ever do that. This is a lesson that you need to learn, okay? The sense of self-esteem should come from within you, okay? Not from people around you feeding you that energy. It's false sense of security, false sense of attachments to people, places, things that, again, the reason why I'm reminding you of this is because that person, place, or thing can change at any minute, any moment. And what's going to happen if they change their mind? If one day they love you, the next day they say, I don't love you. What's going to happen to your self-esteem? Exactly this, right? Sadness, disappointment, so there's something here for you to learn to not make that object, that person, place, or thing, you know, um, the source of who you are, okay, of what you represent. I see that some of you guys have lost yourself in that situation, in that connection, um, because you felt like it was giving you something that it was only promising to give you. But you kept that illusion alive, right? Because it kept you going. Or that person may have been dangling that carrot in front of you. Yeah, I'm going to give you this carrot. I'm going to give you this carrot. And then you come closer to it and they kind of like pull it back. And they pull it back and they pull it back. And so finally, you're like, you know what? Why am I in this? So yeah, right now you might be feeling a sense of disappointment because these you know, experiences haven't worked out for you. But look at this. Behind this man, there's still two cups. There's opportunities right behind you, right in front of you, on the sides of you that you're not paying attention to because you're so involved in that one that's not working out that you're disregarding the one that is available to you because it might be different than you. It might offer uh, something that you're not used to for whatever reason, but 
I'm telling you, there's still opportunities all around you. This is not your only option, if that's what you were worried about. If you're feeling a sense of guilt, oh my God, guilty, did I do the right thing? Did I make the right move? Did I make the right decision? Don't worry about that. Don't feel guilty because I see that you have done the right decision. You are making the right decision. I see here that it's just taking you far too long to make it. And that's why uh, the guilt is coming through for some of you. For others, as soon as you start detaching from this person, place, or thing, that person will start regretting what they have done. There's a sense of regret coming from their part. Now, I'm going to be going into different positions. So if you are new to this channel, welcome. The way that the readings work here on my channel is I do general readings. So this can be pertaining to literally any area of your life, love, career, family, finances, friends, whatever area you take it, however resonates for you. So say, for example, in this position, it for some, it might resonate for you in, in your career. For others, it might resonate for you in your love life. This other position might resonate for some of you guys in your family life. This other position might resonate for you in your personal life. Whatever it is here, you take whatever resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay. Now in your challenge position, like I said, it's you, you're finding it challenging to, to stick to like the saying goes, stick to your guns, right? You're finding it difficult for you to stick to those decisions that you already know um, you have to make because either you're being challenged, your fears are taking over, they're trying to take over you and or people or a person or situations around you are, are testing you. They're testing your courage. They're, they're testing your strength. It's almost as if the universe is doing this so that you can learn how to finally draw the line and not make people... Um, situation, circumstances, the source of your self-esteem anymore so that you don't waste your time anymore. But you have to have that tenacity. You have to have that courage, that strength to finally draw the line and say, you know what? Enough is enough. I draw this line and you don't cross this line. This is a boundary. These are boundaries, setting boundaries already. Okay. I see that you will be tested. Like I said, this will be a sense of a push and pull. It's not going to be an easy win, but you will be able to, to overcome these obstacles with your courage, with your strength and the belief in yourself. Now, I'm also seeing here that some of you guys, um, it's, it's challenging for you to see that there are opportunities all around you because, again, you might be sitting in pessimism. You might be sitting in, oh my God, well, am I ever going to find a better job than this one? Am I ever going to find a job? Am I ever going to find a person better than this person? Am I ever going to find love, right? What if I let this one go and I never find anybody else? All these negative thoughts are taking over. Do you think that in a world where there's like billions and billions of people and jobs and opportunities, you're not going to be able to get one? Of course, but the key is in you switching your mindset. You cannot possibly manifest something good if you're thinking on something negative. So I see here that the opportunities are already right in front of you. There's already an opportunity in front of you, whether it's an offer of love, whether it's an offer for a new job, a new career, advancement in your life. It could be creative offer, a project here, a new friendship offer, whatever it is. But again, you've got to snap out of it. The universe is like, wake up call, wake up call. You need to wake up. The opportunities are all around you. Why are you still sitting there crying, right? It might seem harsh, but I'm just trying to help you based on the energies. Now I'm seeing here that it might be difficult for you to take a step back even. You might want to keep trying. You might be convincing yourself, no, maybe I should have tried more. Maybe I should have given more. Maybe I'm not giving enough. Enough, say I. <laughs> Enough with that, okay? Because I see that you have. You've given more than enough. It's just that because you haven't made this decision before, because you haven't really, um, you know, felt your strength and what it feels like to be strong, you don't recognize it anymore. You might have been settling for less than what you deserve. And because you're so used to that energy of settling for less, settling for less, when you finally, you know, raise your vibration, you're like, wait a minute, I don't want to settle for less anymore. There's moments of like, whoa, are you sure you're making the right decision? Are you sure you don't want to go back down, you know, in vibration and settle for less again? No, don't let those fears and securities, doubts, and even people take over your mind. Don't let that happen. 
I see here that in the, re and let me know in the comments below what this is all pertaining to. Is this happening in your career, love life, family life, uh, personal life, um, whatever this is. In the recent past, you have here the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Magician. So in the recent past, I do see here that you were very uh, methodical. You were very careful in entering into a new situation. For some, it was in a new environment, in an organization with a, uh, like um, a group of people, that kind of vibe. You had a plan. You had a strategy. Um, you thought things through very, very carefully, that kind of vibe. I see here that, yes, in the beginning, there was a lot of joy, happiness, a sense of community, whether it's a job, a career, an organization, family members, friends, whatever this was in the past. And I see here that you felt good about it because you did manifest something that you wanted. For others, I see here that even though there was some kind of slow moving process, you were dealing with a person or a situation that was very slow in making things happen, very slow in moving forward towards you, very slow in, you know, um, yeah, like uh, making sure that their actions match their words. Very, very slow energy. I see that uh, this individual it was very fun to be around them. They had a lot of fun with you, but for some, there was a third party situation. This person may have been very manipulative, that kind of vibe. For others of you in the recent past, there was some kind of an energy there where you were part of a like a like an organization or a group of people, that kind of vibe. You had a lot of fun. You were having a lot of fun, but then somebody else started to get bothered by you becoming happier, by them seeing you happy, and them kind of like um, you know blaming you. Oh well, yeah, you're over there with your friends, with your family, while I'm over here working, or you know that kind of vibe. Like they were kind of getting jealous of your advancement, whether it's career wise. You were jealous of how how good you, how well you were doing in your career, or it could have been a family member that was very jealous of you, it could have been a friend, lover, loved one, it could have been in your career happening, and or for others, it could have just been, you know, um, somebody here that you, that you were in partnership with, okay, but I do see here that, um, that kind of had an influence on you, like, oh my god, maybe I shouldn't be having fun, maybe I shouldn't be happy, maybe I should just settle for less, right? That kind of vibe. Let me know in the comments below what that was all about in the recent past. Now, in your uh, present situation, you have the Seven of Swords, the uh, Knight of Wands, and the Temperance. So right now, I see that there is some kind of a sneaky behavior, a person uh, being very deceitful, lying. Uh, for some, it could be a player energy, a person here who knows exactly what to say, they know exactly what to do to get your attention, to get, to captivate you. They're very extroverted. They're very fun, you know, but they're lying. There's some kind of lies, deceit, sneaky behavior, or somebody trying to take a shortcut. It can also be for others, a person, personality type, whether it's a family member, friend, a career person. It could be also a child, um, a lover, okay, um, a person that you're with right now, whoever this is that is not taking responsibility for what they have created. They blame it all on you, that kind of vibe, okay? Their inconsistency, their immaturity. Yeah, well, I'm doing this because if it wasn't for you doing that, then I wouldn't be doing this, right? It's very childish. It's very, very immature, very childish. This person's just trying to get away with something. And I feel like some of you guys have a person who's either projecting, it could be a narcissist for others, it could be some kind of an energy here that... Um, like I said, like you already know that something is off in this situation because it is. And I'm sensing that right now you're going to require patience to deal with this person because it's not going to be easy to get rid of them. Okay. For others of you guys, you need to start focusing on creating more balance in your life, tempering your feelings and tempering your emotions because this person is trying to push your buttons. For others, you will be meeting a brand new person, a brand new energy who's going to come in to captivate you, but in a positive way. I'm seeing here that you may not be paying attention to the new person because your attention is fully on this liar, on the person here who is deceiving you, who is disappointing you, who doesn't have your best interest at heart. Let me know in the comments below what that's all about, what this is pertaining to. This could be happening in your career, finances, friends, family, a love situation, relationship, whatever this is. In the near future, you have here the uh, world, the queen of pentacles, and the ten of wands. Yeah, so in the near future, if you don't end this now, it's going to end. It's going to come to an end. But you're going to have to close out that chapter, tie up those loose ends that need to be tied up. For some of you guys, you're kind of like thinking about ending it. 
you know, but you still have like, I'll give you a perfect example. Let's say, for example, you're like, okay, I break up with this person, you break, you know, whatever you guys break up and you guys live together. But because your emotions are still attached to them, or if you work at a place, right, because, you know, you kind of have that little thing of hope, like, oh, I hope that maybe it will work out, you know, that kind of vibe, or maybe they will change. Because there's still that little spark of hope, you still haven't tied up those loose ends, like you haven't gone to that person's house to pick up all your things, or you haven't... Um, you know, um, who knows, maybe if it's a job, like you haven't gone back to the job and, and, um, signed those last papers that you need to sign or whatever this is, right? So I see here that in the near future, you're going to have to do that. You're going to have to tie up those loose ends that need to be tied up in order for you to stabilize yourself financially, in order for you to stabilize yourself emotionally as well. And also, this is a reminder here that you've been carrying a burden for far too long. You weren't supposed to carry this burden for this long. You were supposed to let it go. It's like the universe gave you a lot of signs, signals to let it go, to release it, but you kept putting on more um, more burden on your shoulders to keep it going. And so at some point in the near future, you're going to have to let it go, okay? In order for, again, your stability, your finances to improve this energy here to come in. I see here that in the near future, as soon as you end this connection, this situation, or end this job, you're going to have an opportunity to either make more money, a job offer where you can make more money, a long-term type of commitment person, a loyal person here coming in also that you can start to get to know or that you already know, but it's until after you tie up those loose ends that need to be tied up. It's almost as if the universe is holding on to these blessings until you finally clear out those energies. In your opportunity, you have the Knight of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Justice. Justice will be served in your favor. In an area of your life, career, business-related, love-related, family-related, friend, whatever this is, where there has been some kind of injustice, imbalance, don't worry. You're going to have an opportunity here to finally receive justice. You're going to get justice in good karma. Okay, I, I see here that you're also going to have an opportunity to finally make a decision about a brand new offer coming in towards you. Don't think about it too much because I know that because of your past experiences, you might be a little bit weary, but there's also a tendency where you might be wanting to stay stuck in where you know you have to release with that blindfold on. And this is saying you will have an opportunity to finally cut off that blindfold of denial and of an illusion. Have you been living in an illusion? Have you been just living and putting up with this person, situation, place, environment, job, group of people, because you have the hope that someday they're going to change because they keep promising you things that they're not delivering in on? Is this just an illusion that you have built in order to keep yourself going? It's an illusion. Cut off that blindfold. You're going to have an opportunity to be honest with yourself and that's when you're going to receive this justice. There's no need for you to ask yourself, is this person going to ever get their karma, their bad karma for what they've done to me? Don't worry about that person and their karma. You can't decide that. I can't decide that. Only the universe knows. Only karma knows how it works through people's lives. You only focus on your good karma because your good karma is on its way towards you. Justice will be served without you having to lift one single finger. I see here that a new opportunity will be offered for you. This is going to, this is in your like opportunity, like good opportunities, right? But if you're still stuck in that situation, you either are going to miss out on it, you're going to ignore it, or you're going to think, nah, that's too good to be true. Okay. But I see here that this is a love offer for others. It could be an apology for others. It could be uh, a job offer, a career offer where you can make more money, whatever type of offer. It's an offer here that is coming in to heal you as part of your good karma. Now let's go ahead and clarify emotional loss and the five of cups. What is this here about? So you have here the Ten of Cups, look at that, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Empress. Wow, you have no idea. You have no idea what is on its way towards you. It is rushing in towards you. This Empress here, 
This is a, a situation, whether it's in career matters, if you want money, it's coming in in great abundance. It's going to start growing. It's going to start manifesting, but you do have to tie up those loose ends and let the situation go that you know is no longer working for you. Whether it's a job, a career, a person, place, thing, a relationship, whatever this is. Give yourself some time to heal, yes, but I see here that the new thing, the new offer that's coming in, it's, it, it's offering so much more. Okay, this is this is going to grow. It's going to bloom. It's going to blossom. Look at that. Not only are your finances going to um, improve, this is financial improve, uh, like prog progress in your finances. It could be an offer here. The universe coming in to offer you this huge pinnacle, whether it's commitment, somebody here that you're going to meet who you, you know, is going to offer marriage, commitment, long-term commitment. This person is loyal. This person is financially stable. Not only that, but there's also going to be an emotional type of connection. Like it's going to be real, right? It's going to be real. It's going to be authentic that kind of vibe for some of you guys you're gonna to have to make a decision do you choose the connection here who um that offers you stability money you know that kind of vibe or do you um choose the offer here that will provide that sense of like um fulfillment like soul fulfillment okay for some, it's you're choosing between two offers. For others, you're going to have it all. I feel like for most, you're going to have it all. The financial security, financial stability. You and this person could create something together, can make something happen, right? There's going to be an offer here of commitment and or um, a job offer where you can make a lot of money, career, business offer, whatever that is. But I see here the happy family, the happy home. It could also be that energy there of, um, of generational wealth generational wealth you might not even know that somebody is uh leaving everything under your name and then bam it shows up in your life okay let's see energy so you are changing you are transforming your energy is definitely shifting you are transforming into your higher self because of a person here or a situation that you have experienced. Your energy is changing others as well. So because you're transforming, because you're changing through this experience that you're having, once you accept that this is for your higher self, for you to change and transform, okay, you're going to see how by you changing, other people around you also start changing. There's nothing that you have to do. Okay. For others, you are changing another person. And it says, I've transformed into my higher self because of you. Your energy has changed me. Somebody here is learning some kind of lessons and changing for you, for the situation. We're going to be going into the extended reading now. And in the extended reading is where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how the situation is all going to turn out and unfold for you, what will be the final result. And we will end the reading with any guidance messages from Spirit. So remember, I'm now offering 50% off all extended readings. You can find the link to that down in the comments that are pinned below or also in the description box below. And also a quick reminder about the new YouTube algorithm and how it has been affecting my channel. You know, I didn't realize that this was happening a few weeks ago when I started feeling a little bit disappointed uh, by the fact that I had been seeing a significant drop in views and likes and subscribes. Little did I know that the YouTube algorithm has been involuntarily unsubscribing my subscribers without their knowledge or consent. Okay, so if you are a subscriber, double check for me. Are you still subscribed to my channel? And if you're not subscribed, you can resubscribe or just kind of like refresh the system by unsubscribing, then resubscribing, and then hitting the notification bell. And when you hit the notification bell, make sure that you click all. Because if you don't click all, the YouTube algorithm will not notify you when I post new videos. Again, like I said, I had been feeling rather discouraged because I had been seeing a significant drop in comments, views, etc. And so I was already considering going on to a different platform, but I'm so glad that I brought it to your attention because you guys have been encouraging me to stay on YouTube. So again, if you do want to support the channel, comment down below, even if it's just an emoji, even if it's just you letting me know how these readings resonate for you, because my mission here is for me to provide these readings as a sort of guidance, okay, so that they 
they can help you in some kind of way in whatever it is that you're going through in your life right now. So let me know in the comments below, like the video. It doesn't cost you a thing to like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and hit that notification bell because the YouTube algorithm, like I said, if I don't receive enough comments, enough likes, enough subscribes, then the YouTube algorithm will hide my videos from not only the news feed, uh, newcomers, but also my current subscribers so that my videos don't get hit so that my videos are no longer hidden from the YouTube algorithm. Make sure that you support the channel again by commenting down below, liking the video, subscribing to the channel. Thank you all so much for your encouragement, for your support. And if you do want to check out all of your monthly readings, which have already been posted on the channel, your monthly readings, your blessings monthly readings, your mid-monthly readings, you can find all those links down in the description box below, but I have also pinned them directly in the comments below. You can find those for easy access down in the comments below as well. Again, thank you all so much for your comments, for your positive encouragement and support. Take very good care of yourself and until next time. Bye-bye. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Psych source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on psychic source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my psychic source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.